everyone, it's Sarah here again at the Rapid City Public Library with another story time short for you. And today we will be reading a book about a little boy named Spencer and he lost his most prized possessions. That's right, he lost books and he cannot figure out where they went. I wonder, do you think we'll be able to find out where his precious books are? Let's find out. But before we get started, I'd like to thank Simon and Schuster for allowing us to read this story today. Where are my books? by Debbie Ridpath Owey. Spencer loved books. His favorite bedtime book was Night Night Norwal. Sometimes he read it aloud. Every night Spencer put the book back where it belonged. That way he'd always be able to find it. Until one morning, where is my book? Spencer looked everywhere, but it was no use. Night Night Narwhal was gone. That evening, he chose Tenacious Todd. It was okay, but Todd was a toad and toads were amphibians and amphibian books were supposed to be for right after lunch story time. When Spencer woke the next morning, Tenacious Todd was gone. Every morning, another book was missing. Next to go was Sin and the Clownfish, then Beluga Beluga vanished. Sea Monkey and Bob went missing. Things were getting out of hand. Spencer vowed to find out what was going on. His father did not know what happened to Night Night Narwhal. His mother had no idea either, nor had she seen Tenacious Todd, Sin and the Clownfish, Beluga Beluga, or any of Spencer's other missing books. That left only one person. Where are my books? Uh-oh, he wasn't being nice to his little sister. So it's time for a new plan. That night, Spencer set a trap with his copy of Space Frog Sam. The next morning, it was time for Spencer to get his book back. Where are my books? Spencer ran faster. The thief was just around the corner. Aha, he said, that's my book. <laughs> Spencer didn't know squirrels like to read. It gave him a great idea. Spencer told the squirrels they could borrow his books, but there would be some rules. Just like at the library, they had to return the books that they borrowed before they could borrow any more. But they didn't need to leave anything behind. Spencer even helped them pick out their very first book. He chose one for himself too and he promised to read it aloud. The end. Oh, I am so happy that Spencer found out what happened to Night Night Narwhal. Aren't you guys happy too? Oh man, I really enjoyed the story. Thanks for listening, you guys, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more story time shorts. We'll see you next time.